Hello, how you doing Mike Bradley? I hope you're doing well as always. And in today's video, I ponder the question, can you get a great guitar tone without using an amp? Now I'm a huge tone geek, and if I feel my plane is off slightly, my plane just goes downhill. I'm so sensitive and delicate with it that I just bruise like a peach, I'm terrible. Now I've been having a lot of fun recently with the STL Tone Hub plugin, and lots of cool sounds on there, and lots of cool amp plugins and whatnot, and recently they've got a new pack out which they've teamed up and collaborated with Ramesh Dodengoda, and there's load of cool, you know, from heavy rock, guitar tones, you know, kind of Mesa Boogie and uh, EVH or those kind of rock, no, heavy rock tones, as well as the cleaner Fender-esque type tones as well. But does it sound as good as a real guitar amp? So at the beginning of the video, the rock type guitar tone I was going for was using the Marshall JMP with a Mesa Boogie 4x12. And with the power of editing, you will see all the settings into the plugin right now. And I also use some of the reverb, which is from their reverb pedal. And I should be honest, I had to really dial it back <laughs> quite a bit. It's, uh, there's a lot of reverb in that kind of plug-in pedal going on there. So I really uh, dialed it back, but you kind of want a nice bit of reverb. Um, just a little bit there, but it's literally like on three or something like that, just to give me a little sound. But uh, we get quite a cool, rock guitar tone going on. Now I could go heavier if I wanted, but I'm kind of liking that I'm not a, a heavy metal guitar player. But there's a lot of gain going on now, so I've got humbuckers on my old Gibson 345 here. Does it sound as good as a real guitar amplifier? <laughs> now, as more and more people are using plugins like this at home, um, you know, especially with the last, how the last year's been, we've had no choice but to be at home. These are so, so handy to have uh, because, it, well, first of all, volume is a big issue if you're recording at home, if you've got a house, apartment, but either way, you can have neighbors. But also, the variety of sounds and tones you've got at your disposal here. Now, like I say, in this in this new pack here on the STL Tone Hub, there is so much. You know, when I first came across it, I was like, wow, okay, I can have a lot of fun with this, you know? So the convenience of if I want a rock type tone, or in a minute I'll do a more of a cleaner kind of sound, I've got it literally at a touch of a button. So in that regard, I've got to give a point to the plugin, you know, and like I say, I think this is a pretty cool rock tone. Um, if I put the net pickup on. But I think I haven't. I haven't actually checked this myself. Let's see if it cleans up like I no, a good valve amp should.
not too shabby at all. <laughs> now I play quite a few plugins in my time, but I must say this is the STL Tone Hub is really, really good. Um, like with all plugins, does it beat a real amplifier? If I'm a hundred percent honest, no, it doesn't. But it gets very, very close. And if you, you know, if you want to work fast, if you're you know, recording whatever you're recording at home for yourself, or even if you're not recording, you just want a load of different tones, they're really cool to have. So it's weighing it up, isn't it? You know, like, yeah, I think if you if you was to A, B it next to an amplifier, a real one, a real amp's gonna win, but then you got, you know, basically a million and one, <laughs> not only pedals and amps that have been at your disposal there. So tone wise, the amp's gonna win, convenience, the plugin's gonna win. So that's your rock tones. How about some cleaner tones? Now I must say, I really, really like this tone. Uh, this is the Fender Twin Reverb type setting I've got on here. As you can see by the power of editing. And I've also used some of the plugins, delay, pedal, and the reverb. Again, I kind of had to, well, I didn't tame, tame the reverb as much as you can hear right now. Uh, there's a nice bit of reverb going on and delay. And then also I used uh, the pedal in the plugin as well, an overdrive pedal there, and just kind of, you know, tweaked it to taste. Uh, not much gain, as you can see. Uh, it's more just a kind of, of a fattener type tone, tone shaper, if you will. But for me, this is incredibly amp-like. I really, really like this. This is a beautiful sound. <laughs> Whatever STL, Tone Hubs and Romesh did to create those circuits, the 1.21 gigawatts in that, I really like. <laughs> that to me, I, no, that sounds like an amplifier with a nice lush reverb and delay going on. It's really, really nice. <laughs> So at the beginning of the video, I said 
can you get a great guitar tone without using a guitar amp? And I think the answer is yes, don't you? I think you can. Um, like I say, with STL, I'm, I'm really liking, guys. If you're, if you're watching, I'm really enjoying this. Um, I think you certainly can get a great guitar tone, you know, especially in, you know, 2021, the year we are in now, the year of our Lord, 2021. Um, we can certainly get a really cool, great guitar tone without using an amp. Like, I mean, I've set this up. I got the Fender Twin set in for this sound in particular. I kind of just, you know, mucked around on the amp uh, <laughs> settings, you know, kind of took the bass off, a bit more treble, uh, a little bit more presence and whatnot. You know, tweaked the delay and reverb to what I wanted and whatnot. Um, so I know it's a plug-in, but at the same time, I'm kind of forgetting it's a plug-in, <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is what you want, isn't it? You don't want to constantly be thinking, oh, what am I playing for? You just want to be able to just play and let the voices and the music, what you hear in your head, be able to come out, you know, through the guitar. So, um, yeah, you can. Like I say, you know, uh, you've got to look at both sides of the coin, you know. Yes, amps, I think a real amp will always win in a, in a fight, in a Games of Thrones battle. Um, but you can, these, these, you can get a really cool trebly thing like this. the heavy rock guitar tones like I was doing before. So I'd love to know your thoughts. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, do you use an amp? Some people I know don't even own amplifiers. So it'd be great to know your thoughts in the comment section below and, and let me know um, what you use. Are you a pure amp tone guy? Or are you, uh, you know, a 21st century uh, man or woman and prefer plugins and you know spit on amplifiers <laughs> let me know your thoughts as always i've been mike bradley i really do hope you're doing well as always yes if you want to get a t-shirt you can get one from the link below and i will see your beautiful selves very very soon look after yourselves out there it's a crazy world i'm mike bradley i'll see you soon mike bradley signing out bye